arrived at our first destination of Stilton near Peterborough and uh, it's really impressive 58% battery left 74 miles of range left according to GOM on the Mini and I hope you can see this and 102 miles traveled so if you add the 102 miles and the 74 that's a range of 176 miles so 176 miles range and all we did was stop for a splash and dash. That's my preferred way of charging in the Mini. So on the way out, at the first convenient charger, we stop at a splash and dash. I only added six kilowatt hours. Um, if we hadn't stopped faffing around doing a live stream and uh, letting the dog out for a wee and me going to the toilet, etc., that we're, it really would have been a five to ten minute stop instead of 20 minutes that we actually did. So I, I find that with the Mini is really, really good. So we've got 176 mile range with the car just by doing a splash and dash on the way out. So it's a really good way of extending the range of the car. Anyway, um, the trip, awful, awful trip really. We've, we've bypassed as many petrol stations as we can, taking some really back country roads, but having taken those back country roads, it's made the journey a lot longer, a lot bumpier. So a um, little bit more stressed in the car for a longer journey and a bumpy drive, but at least we missed all of the queues. I mean, I posted a few online on Twitter. Um, there were several petrol stations with big queues of cars um, running back onto the roads and half the petrol stations were closed or full. So yeah, the roads are a nightmare at the moment. So choice as to whether you go on those main roads and uh, join the queues or whether you take the back roads and miss them. Anyway, uh, we've arrived at our destination here. Um, we're going to be plugging into um, an AC socket to charge the car, ready for our next leg. We actually have enough miles for the journey already. I think we've got another 60 miles to travel to get to our final destination, Banbury. And uh, we've got 70 odd left on the car. So we've got enough. So plugging in at the house, 2.2 kilowatts on the granny charger. We're going to be there for a few hours. So um, that gives us extra contingency as well. That's the idea and i don't have to charge at a public charger when we get there um, the pub that we're going to arrive at has told us there is an outside socket we can charge when we're there as well so yeah it really makes it easier when you've got enough chargers that are convenient just a splash and dash charge at a family member's house charge at the destination when we get there we don't need public chargers really and although it'd be faster to charge at a public charger I don't feel like going out of my way to go and find one. Um, the nearest one to where we are here in Stilton would be the old Ecotricity charger at the Tesco Extra um, charger on the A1 at Peterborough. Um, that's got the Ionity chargers as well. So they're our closest main chargers. There is some Instavolts around the corner, but they're right on the junction with a petrol station. So I wouldn't even want to go drive past and see whether they're available at the moment. Anyway, the Mini has done fantastic today, uh, 5.3 miles per kilowatt hour because we've been driving back roads and quite slow. So I'm really pleased. The point to doing this video is really just to keep re-emphasizing the range that instead of 100, 140 mile range that this Mini has got, no, 170 odd miles is really easy because you just do a little bit of a charge en route. Now, I don't know if everyone's got chargers like this where they are, but if you're looking at buying an electric car, that's that's what I would plan. I would plan 30 miles out, 40 miles out, um, where is a convenient charger, one that you know is reliable and works. Pull in and stop at that one, give yourself a splash and dash, and then you don't have to worry about um, charging on the way back, etc. It, it's just that flexibility, isn't it, of deciding whether you charge on the way out when you get there or on the way back, what's convenient and what works. And yeah, definitely Instavolt chargers are the best. That was so easy with the RFID card and uh, just tapping it to start and tapping it to end. And what I found as well, um, within a couple of minutes from when we were back on the road, an email came through from Instavolt giving me a receipt telling me the kilowatt hours. There was me taking a, a picture of the actual charger to show what I'd uh, charged. And you don't need to because an email comes through. Really, really good of Instavolt. Absolutely love that. If you're interested in getting the app and the RFID for Instavolt, as I've got, which is a really good one, um, there's a link to it in the description of most of my videos. I don't think it'll probably pop up on this one, on this live stream, but most of my videos um, have a link to that with a referral code to get a fiver's worth of fuel free from Instavolt. So you might want to go and try that. Anyway, thanks for watching all these videos. Um, just a minor update that uh, Susan's up 
you know, walking the dog. We've just stopped um, waiting now. We're due to meet our daughter at uh, about 12 o'clock. So we've got uh, 10, 15 minutes time to kill. So just stopped here to do the live stream, walk the dog, and then we're off again. Thanks, as always, for watching these videos. Hope you find them useful and a uh, little insight into our life as to what we're doing and where we're going. And, yeah, apart from not videoing our arguments on the way of shall we take the uh, <laughs> bumpy road or shall we take the main road, uh, yeah, it might be a funny insight into our lives. Take care and see you again soon for the next video, probably when we get to Banbury. Um, hopefully, no problems. Hopefully, there's a charger there or a uh, socket to plug into. Hopefully, I've remembered... <laughs> to put the extension lead in the back and uh, we're all good take care bye for now